like how how did you get into mixing music for cheerleaders cheerleaders yeah i know it's the weirdest <laughs> thing um and so the way i got into it was i was working at best buy here in harrisonburg and so we were doing like typical icebreakers you know what's one thing about you that makes you unique type stuff and at that point in time every time i'd say like hey i'm lee andes and i like to play soccer like that was just kind of how i fielded that question but this time at that point in time i was like i'm putting a foot down i really want to take music seriously so i said hey i'm lee andes and i and i rap and uh and everybody you know snickered and did their like kind of turning heads and who is that guy whatever else but you know i think it was about six months later um this guy was in best buy buying a washer and dryer and i wasn't his sales associate he was talking to someone else and he literally asked him he was like do you happen to know anybody that raps and that guy was like that squirrely little ginger over there in cell phone said he raps i have no idea if he's good but like he said it and so that guy if you remember the movie back in the day um bring it on the cheerleading movie um he he was either like a part of producing that music for that movie or knew the people that that produced that movie or oh, wow okay music for it he was plugged in in that regard and he was living up in fort defiance and so uh so wow. he, he invited me to his studio and we had an instant rapport he he loved my style and my voice and stuff he just showed me the ropes like he taught me how to sample music he taught me how to produ uh, produce a cheer routine which has a lot of elements in common with it with the uh, hip-hop and production in general and uh and of course i was doing the the vocals for the the routines as well yeah it's it's such a crazy thin thread though like if i don't say that at that icebreaker at best buy then the guy that's selling the washer and dryer doesn't say right it's oh like, man that's dude, that's it, insane yeah that's crazy yeah wow you know i can say that to the audience is like i really encourage boldness towards your yeah. path even in those small moments where it's like people are gonna maybe snicker laugh at you and think a thing about you for you know a month or two or two months but god bless it man when something this big in my life hangs on something that small whew. yeah that's a that's a story right there y'all take some advice Days die so slow.